Okay, so basically I've been getting a lot of questions in my YouTube email, whatever thingy, um, asking me how I got the uh, elephant here to go flying with all the explosions. So now I'm going to explain it <laughs> so that I quit getting the emails. Alright, so you have to be in forge mode. And what I've already done is I've deleted all the uh, plasma batteries and fusion cores. So you just want to spawn a bunch of fusion coils. You just stick them in there wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. Either, yeah, it doesn't really matter where they go. You just throw them in there. Only three more to go. Sorry it's taking so long, I'm kind of slow at forge. <laughs> but it works. Make sure you don't throw them too violently like I just almost did, or else they'll all explode, and you don't want that. So now that you got the fusion coils done, do the same thing with the plasma battery. Make sure you have all the ones on the map in here so that the explosion's bigger. One more. Okay. So now you. Uh, all right. Um. So now you have all this stuff in here, but whenever you explode it, it respawns. So now what you're going to do is you're going to press X to go into this menu. You're going to go all the way up to Fusion Coil. You're going to press X again, and you'll see Runtime Minimum. Now it's 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 uh, by default set to zero. You're going to turn to 16 and press A. Go back, go all the way down to the plasma battery, press X, and do the same thing. It's a, 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 the default is 0, turn it to 8 so that the uh, runtime maximum and the runtime minimum are the same. So now you're going to want to keep the explosion uh, going. So I'm going to spawn the Hornet, face it down. Get in it and just shoot it.